Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. I'm um, back again with another PC quick tip video. Uh, today's video is just going to be showing you how to improve your download speed. Um, now, what of most people use torrents for something, whether it's programs, movies, films, whatever you want to do. Um, and this is just going to be a program to increase that speed. Now, by no means it's a new program. Uh, what people know about it, but you know, just when I'm at work and stuff, I, I just show this to a lot of people, and I just thought it'd be maybe relevant to show you guys. So the program is called TCP Optimizer. Now you can Google this or get it from download.com. It's free software, real easy to get. So it's TCP Optimizer. Just put that in Google. Um, and what it basically does, in kind of simple terms, it opens up ports and allows your TCPs to just run faster. So without going into, I'm, in this video, I'm not going to go into all the jargon and explain what everything means, but I'll just try to cover the basics so you can all follow up. Um, now most of you will have a rough idea what your download speed is. Uh, if you don't, you can get a rough idea by going to speedtest.net or if you know what your average download speed is, you can time that times that by 8 and that will give you roughly what your download speed is. Mine is absolute dog shy. For some reason, you know, I'm not near, near enough the uh, exchange and I don't get fiber optic here at the moment. So mine is just 1.8 to 2 megabytes download speed. Yeah, garbage, I know. So um it obviously helps me get about i think it was about an extra 30 kbs a second which doesn't sound a lot but over you know i don't know if you're downloading hundreds of gigabytes then it will improve it so let's just speed it along a bit so once you've once you've got it and you inst and installed it you just want to run it as administrator and you'll come up with a window that looks like this uh first thing you want to do is where it's on current you want to click to custom so it allows us to change all these settings um, so the first thing we want to do is move this slider to where to the nearest download speed that you get. So mine's 1.8, so I've slid mine to 2 megabytes per second. Uh, the next bit under network adapter selection. Now this all depends on whether you're using the onboard one or you've actually got a network wireless card in there. Uh, because I've got mine wired in, um, I'm just using the onboard one here, this Realtek. If you do have a different one, just drop this down, find the one that gives you an IP address and select that one. Uh, you want to click modify all network adapters now all these settings like I said I could go into a lot of detail but it would take me a while and the video would just overrun so I'm just going to go down the basic ones so the first one you want to have on disable next one CTCP uh, this chimney offload now um, you do want to have this enabled if you are running your, the, uh, like a separate wireless network card because it has its own chimney but if you're just running the onboard one like myself, you want to have that on disable. Uh, the next one have on enable, and this one here only enable if you're running more than a dual core, so dual quad six eight core. Have that enabled. If you're running a single or dual, just have that on disabled. The next one underneath is enabled. Uh, make sure this MTU up here. You have 1500 um, time to live now that would take me a while to explain so I'm just going to tell you the best one to put in there is 64 um, and the ECN it's best to have is disabled it's kind of for gaming and stuff like that so put that disabled next one disabled and the next one enabled make sure that box is ticked for windows scaling then jump over to advanced settings um, again this one could take a while to explain what all of these mean but it's a lot easier probably if you just copy these ones down so it's 20 20 and then you must make sure you have it at this 4 5 6 7 a sync, a t sync attack protect enable one that's kind of just for uh, I'll say just kind of for viruses if you just you want to be extra protected have that enabled uh, that's number three and then have this on enable one now this one the bottom one size optimized I have it at three <sighs> If you're just doing normal browsing internet and that's it, put it on one. If you play a bit of games and a bit of browsing on two. If you just if you play games and do a lot of torrenting, have it on three. Just much better like that. Then simply just go down this side, copy all these settings. I'll leave it here for a while. Uh, I think let's have a look. On this bit, it's important as well. Make sure your max user port is six five five three four and then have the delay on 30 seconds and just going back to the setting over here where it says large system cache only have that enabled if you have more than 4 gigabytes of RAM so like I've got 8 so that's fine for me but if you're running like 2 or 3 gigabytes of RAM you'll want to put that on, on uh, disabled 
just because it doesn't have enough power to do that. And then I think pretty much everything else, yeah, it's the same. So what you want to do is simply click Apply Changes, click Exit, and then what will happen is it will take effect next time um, you restart your computer. So you can go then back to speedtest.net and just see if you have had any improvements or just go to like a uTorrent and just download it. should have increased it by from anywhere from like 5 to 15% increase. So hopefully it will help you. Uh, definitely improved mine. I got an extra, like I said, 30 KBS, something like that, which is pretty decent. Just a nice little tweak for you guys to improve that. Um, so, yeah, that's it, guys, really. Um, oh, and this background, quite a few of you asked me where I got it from. Just Google Images. Um, I'll just bring it up. All you need to type in is black Lamborghini Gallardo wallpaper. And when it says exactly size down here, just type in 1920 by 1080 click search and you should probably see it somewhere mine's there the top right I think it's a beautiful image that's why I've got it if you guys did want it or asked me in the last video then there you go so I uh, hope you enjoyed that I hope it works for you and uh, that's it cheers guys